All right, people, this is Elite RC. And what we have right here is a, a prep body for my JQ uh, Black, JQ Racing Black Edition. Basically, prep for paint. Now, I usually like painting my own bodies due to the simple fact is, it's where I save. So, and I do a decent job. I wouldn't say a great job. I'm not professional or nothing, but I do a decent job. So, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you paint, you wash the uh, body out with soap water. Then after you dry it via, you know, shop towels or indoor air compressor. And after you do all of that, let me uh, end this call real quick, people. Yeah, after we do all of that, find you a nice little box to paint inside of. These, this box will hold fit scale bodies, 8 scale, 10 scale, whatever. It holds it all. So, and then of course you paint where you want the second color, you just tape mask it off. I use frog tape for all of that. And this 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 body is going to be silver and red. So, just wanted to show people how it, where it all started at and where it all get done. So here we go. You want to go with light color. Or, you know, with, with a light light spraying and build your way up and since it's like down there 100 degrees outside right now it's going to work just fine so spray it okay like i said you want to take light you want to go light with it at first you better bitch And this is about down or out. There we go. It's a little heavy, heavier than I expected, but. Only did that because it was blotching at first. And we're gonna let it stay like that for right now. Come back to it 15 minutes later. And this is a candy red base, people. So it's one of the main color. The candy colors are always going to be somewhat translucent. So don't just buy the candy color and think that's it. It always needs to be backed by some sort of metallic silver, metallic orange. Any type of metallic color can back it. But mainly the main metallic backings usually is some type of white, some type of silver and or so it could be an orange it just has to have metallic in it and that gives you a true candy type of coloring all right we'll come back to it once it's 15 minutes up i'm gonna let it dry for 15 minutes all right people we out here for the second coat but before we get into the second coat i'm gonna show you uh what i always do before i paint anything anybody any any cars anything i always do a test run i get scraps of uh of a uh, Lexan or whatever and I, I paint that first and this is the color we're going after I don't know if you see that real good but this you pre-paint the color to see if it if it actually come out how you want it and then see that's that candy red with that silver metallic it's backed in metallic silver candy red can also be backed in metallic gold metallic gold uh, make uh, or make it come out to when the light hit it it doesn't look as reddish it start kind of glowing gold and that has a good color too you can go with also a, a orange metallic and that'll give you like a burnt orange color in a light but it'll still be with a reddish tone it won't be all burnt orange it'll be more like look like this but with an orangish tone nice all metallics okay so this is the color we're going to obtain for the car like I said back to metallic silver you see the difference all right we're gonna use up the rest of this can before I start before I start another can out so let's get to it this can is pretty much done and like I say I'm going in 15 15 minute increments due to it's hot as fuck out here so I really don't even need to go with 15 minute increments
I usually go a little lighter than this, but due to the weather, I can get away with it right now. There we go. About three more coats of this and uh, Yeah, we're gonna call this this damn can today. Yep, it's over. Alright. Gonna let that dry up. I say about three more coats of this and it's ready to roll, people. Alright. I, I, my next few coats, I'm not gonna uh film, but I am gonna uh film the uh the backing coat, which I gotta I'm going with a candy silver metallic, well not a candy, but a silver metallic as a backing color, which you need. All right. All right, people, all right. All right, so all my coats are done. And I forgot about my uh, dust protectors or whatever the fuck they call these. I forgot about those, so I had to add those in also. So what's going on is I'm about to back all the candy which you can see I'm about to back all that candy uh, red with the metallic silver and also this is going to be metallic silver at the bottom so I'm gonna take all the uh, I'm gonna take off all the uh, tape take off all the tape get somewhere where I can gr grab this hit I wrap this over. Shit. You see how transparent it is? I don't know if you can really see that, but it is transparent waiting on this uh back coat. So here we go. Try to get a clean line. All right, there we go. So, as you see people, you can see that? That's gonna be silver down here, and I'm backing it with silver. So, like I said, it's a hot one out here today. But I got a lot of coats on this, a lot of coats. like the look of that got a little red right there I can worry about it just a little bit down here which I'm about to cut off anyway so so far that's it and we don't see any bleeding through on the windows that's another thing I look for bleeding through on the windows see if everything can see this okay so now we about to do the same thing to the dust protectors because I'm about to spray this whole body in silver and then I'm going to back it with a final color of orange, a metallic orange, just to come with a, another, uh, okay, people, see that? Yeah. I don't know if you can see it from the sun, and I can't really see on my on my thing or how everything's looking so we're gonna find out people we're gonna find out oh yeah oh yeah okay all right it's perfect okay everything about to get sprayed now in metallic silver use uh testers paint packs for back testers And we're gonna spray paint all of this the metallic silver. See that? See the metallic flakes coming out? And the flakes will give the candy 
The flakes is what give the candy. It's uh, we'll move the box around. Be easier to do it that way. The silver is what get that that candy tone. All of its uh, its own. Okay, that's enough for the body right now. I'm gonna hit it. Get a little bit right there. I can go thick with this because it's just the backing. Get the body a little bit more. Want to make sure I get it all in there. All right, gonna wait for that to dry. Get a little close. Gonna wait for that to dry. Then I'm gonna do uh, probably about four more coats. And then when I get to the next color, I'll include you in the next color. But the four coats, I'm going to do on my own. I almost forgot. You always want to make sure you get the increases. All right, people. I'll be back out as soon as that dry. I'm going to use the rest of this can. All right. All right, YouTube. As you can see, the silver is already done. I'm going to show you what I can show you. So far, it's looking like this. But that's a lot of overspray on the actual body. So, and all I can tell you is everything's coming out just good, just fine. See that silver line? Looking, looking pretty good, people. Looking pretty good. So, that's the body. See that right there? See that? Don't forget, that's a film over there that comes off. So, this is going to be the backing color. We're going to go with the orange, metallic orange. We're going to back it with the metallic orange. We're going to do these first. First, we're going to spray over there. Get that bullshit off. There we go. What was that? Okay, I see we got them cotton trees, people. We're going to do about two coats of this. This is just for, to protect the other colors. But I'm going to come back, uh, I don't have any with me, but I'm going to put, put some, some not, I got some, uh, Some tape that I'm gonna put down turn the box to protect the actual body after I get done with all of this I'll I probably show it you never know with me I say this is just a gonna be two heavy ass coats, people. And it's hot as hell, all hell out here. So next. Next time when I get done, I'm gonna do it probably about a, either one more coat or two more coats. I'm gonna finish this can off, so it probably won't be one heavy ass coat left. And then after that, we're gonna unveil the body. All right, now we uh we done with the uh the process. Now it's time to 
we're going to let it sit for another, I'm probably let it sit for another 48 hours, but we're going to peel the film off now. So, I'm going to start with the mud flaps. We're going to start with the first one. Then we're going to do the second one. First mud flap. I'm not going to really touch the back of this because it's dry to the touch, but it's not ready for actual curing. It's not going to be fully cured yet, but we can peel it. So let's get the film off. Okay. Okay, people, are you ready for this? We're going to start with the silver. Start with the bottom. See the flake. See the, all that metallic. Now let's come up and see if it. Oh, did I get the color I was looking for? I believe I did. Put it on the floor. I'm not worried about that. I always take my bodies and I sand around to make everything smooth. So every time I do the body and I also do the flaps, I will even all this out. I'm a, do a light sanding on it. There we go. But did I achieve what I set out to do? I believe so. Let's uh, let's test it up against my my uh, my test. Remember, I had my test sample. That was my test sample. That's the finished product with the candy metal with not the candy metallic but with the silver metallic at the bottom but this is backed in orange came out real good people so far we're gonna sit this one to the side and install it also on the car as soon as it as soon as it finished curing let's see how the other one came out that's why you need the overspray film people because look at how high it comes out Not getting a grip on that side, so let's try to get a grip over here. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm sand all that and finish it up. Yep, came out great. Exactly what I was looking for. And bottom I believe yeah. bear with me I don't believe I have this peel it all the way at the bottom We will work on that later. I got a bottom piece down here, it's not peeled off right. So, I get it, but once again, like I said, it came out great. But now, for the main finale, people. For the grand finale. We see the car and how it looks. First thing first, let me see if I can peel the windows off without having any real issues. See, the key is you want to peel this off slow because you do not want paint to, if it wasn't dry all the way, it would not let you peel the window off like that without pulling paint with it. Okay. We get the other, the other window. Beautiful. Beautiful, people. Beautiful. Hmm. Hmm. I might have to come in and get an exact though. Okay. There's another window peeling off 
great. Let's peel this one off. See, by me not letting it cure, but I kind of want to peel it off now before it fully cures because it'll still try to pull paint off with it later, fully cured. Gotta be careful. You always need to do this very slowly. Very slowly. Okay, so so far, this is what we're looking at. Of course, a lot of overspray. That's what the overspray film is for, people. Now, I'm gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna take my part of my finger and get a hold of it like that Do the same right here gotta be pretty patient taking it off Clearing it with such silence because. Okay, there we go. We got that off. There we go. That window's done. Come on, come on. All right, people, let's, let's check it all out. All of my windows came out to me perfect. Now let's, let's get this body together. And let's see what we're talking about here. All right, let's see how it actually came out. It's looking real good, people, real good. Like I said, I like to paint my own stuff. That way I can take my ideas and put what I want to do into it and not look like everybody else. Because certain people who paint, well, people who paint, period, they have their signatures. They have the signature things that they do that make everything somewhat look like someone else's. Oh yeah, we're looking real good. Okay, put that on the floor. I still got my. Oh, it's it's a uh, it's shining, people. It's shining. It's show quality right here, baby. All I gotta do is go sand it down the edges and make it like I'll make it a, an elite body and get it right. So let's look. Did I get did I get it? See the shine on it? 
That's that candy red. I don't, I don't know if you can see it on the, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Put it kind of put it in some light there, but it's nice. See it in the sun, it's got, you can see the metallic flake all through it. I don't know if you can see all of what I see. I see when I watch the video. You can see the metallic flake all through it, people. Next, I am going to reinforce this back once it fully dries with some, uh, I have, uh, I probably have, I probably end up doing, doing the shoe method. And, uh, shoe goo, uh, the, uh, drywall, I got drywall tape and probably put shoe goo in it and, uh, just harden it up or whatever. And this, I'm no, I'm not really wanting the body to be hard. What I'm looking for is the body to, is to protect the paint so when stuff rub up against the inside, it doesn't take the paint off. I had that problem with my 5B body. It kept rubbing up against the inside on certain parts and it was taking my paint off in the inside. And then you'll start seeing wire marks in here, start seeing clear in there. No, I'm not looking for that. And this is exactly what I what I plan on doing to this body. As you see, I got the lower portion. I have my decals down there once I get them in. Yeah, this is ready. This is ready, people. Exactly what I wanted from me. Yep. All right, that's the body, fully painted. It's the JQ, body by Biddy Designs.